Okay, um, after that we introduce the uh, power cost monitor. Uh, solar power mark, do not stop from there. Okay, um, this time what we want to bring you is actually is a watt meter. As you as know that uh, power cost monitor is a really good uh, in measuring the uh, AC, AC power. So when you come to a DC power, uh, most of the time you need to depend on using a solar charge controller that with a data logging system or you want to use a multimeter. But sometimes multimeter is very hard to uh, measure a DC, DC power whereby the load is uh, jumping up and down. Okay, what I have with me right now is um, two uh, watt meter. Okay, uh, we'll, roughly we'll explain a bit on this uh, watt meter. As you can see, this one is a 7 in 1 uh, watt meter. Uh, beside a watt meter, you also have another function like a multimeter, uh, battery checker, okay? And uh, what's special about this watt meter is that this guy also have a tachometer, alright? So, um, those who in uh, wind power, most of the time that uh, when you want to measure the revolutions of a turbine, uh, so that you can know whether the turbine is produced enough charges uh, to the battery and things like that. That's why you need to measure uh, the uh, revolutions of the, the wind turbine. So basically, uh, you actually there is the optical sensor here. Uh, you can point this at the wind turbine uh, or any rotation uh, devices. Then you can measure the uh, RPM. Uh, all right, the revolutions, the RPM per minute. Okay, and this one also as a watt meter. All right. But I'm not just going to talk about this uh, 7 in 1. Uh, you can go to our website at Solar Power Mark or uh, our latest newer uh, portal like the uh, SCOMAR, S -O -M -A -R -T .com, SCOMAR, and uh, learn more about this product. Okay, um, but I will just want to focus on this um, small sign, mini sign, uh, watt meter. Okay, why is so special about this uh, watt meter is because of this is very affordable uh, and it's small. Uh, very very small so that uh, you can use it to uh, measure all kind of uh, load for example um, you can use it to measure a solar power a solar panel for example you want to know particular solar panel really uh, perform as what it had say uh, in the data sheet uh, you can use this uh, watt meter okay a watt meter basically this, this design is uh, quite uh, simple okay uh, this is positive negative which is the source and this is the load okay for example you want to connect to a solar power uh, solar panel for example uh, you connect the positive negative to the source and then this one uh, you can connect to the let's say you want to measure how much uh, power is produced uh, before it go inside to the solar charge controller uh, this one you can directly connect to the uh, solar charge controller all right but let's say uh, from a solar charge controller uh, to the battery, you want to see how much you know watt or amps or voltage really from the charge controller go down to the battery. Or what you can do is this two here is from the solar charge controller, okay, positive negative, all right. Then this is to the battery, all right. You can do that as well. And let's say you have another scenario. Um, you want to see how much, uh, for example, a motor uh, or any devices consume uh, how much the uh, power consumption on the AC device. Uh, you can connect the lock in this positive negative. Okay, um, this one meter, both of this is actually is for uh, DC. Okay, the maximum voltage that these two guys can take is uh, 60 V. Okay, 60 uh, V. All right, direct current. All right. And the maximum M uh, this guy able to detect is about 100A, okay, as well as 100A. Alright, I uh, probably will show you a few examples uh, on how we use a uh, watt meter for uh, certain argument sake uh, application. Alright, for instance, like uh, this solar panel is better than that solar panel, or that solar panel is better than that. But of course, um, if you have a watt meter, you can use more than just a measuring uh, solar panel power. You can use this to measure all kind of DC load. Uh, for example, these days uh, a lot of people doing green, all right, renewable energy or renewable technology. Either is whether it's cell phone or either is a hybrid car or you know anything, all right, that run on DC, and you want to determine where how efficient the system is or the motor is, you know, 
things like that. So with this uh, one meter installed inside there, uh, you can data logging, all right? Uh, all the parameter, like for example, the voltage, you know, the currents, the watt peak, all right? The temperature changes and things like that, all right? Uh, please refer to the uh, score mark. Uh, for more detail, uh, www.scomart.com, SCOMA, for more detail uh, on all these two uh, products. Alright, and I uh, hope you enjoy watching some of the uh, application. Thank you. I have connected the uh, watt meter to uh, all generations of uh, halogen bulb. Uh, this is a 12V 20 watt uh, halogen bulbs, but of course these days no one is using this bulb anymore because it's a very power hunger. And of course, if you change with a uh, LED, uh, it's going to consume about three to five watt. But this is a uh, uh, 20 watts. Okay, all right. So um, I will use a battery to power this. It's because it's a 20 watt uh, 12 uh, VDC. Okay, I'm just going to put it here. Okay. And I'm just going to connect this guy. Um, uh, hope you can see that uh, to the direct current. Okay. Oops. All right. So you can see the watt meter. Hope you can see that. All right. Uh, it is consuming about 1.8, roughly about 1.7 to 1.8 uh, uh, current. All right. AC current. Sorry, uh, DC current. Uh, 1.75 uh, DC current. And the volt is uh, around 12.54. And the watt actually is around 21.8. It's almost come to uh, 22 watt. Oh, now it's jumping, uh, 21 watt. So as you can see, uh, although the device is stated as uh, 20 watt, but in actual fact, uh, it consumes slightly higher. So with the uh, watt meter, uh, basically you can you know measure all the uh, DC devices, and you know how to figure out how um, the power consumption uh, look like. Okay. The watt meter also can be used uh, to measure the power from the PV. Uh, what I have right now is the PV, for example, uh, connect uh, to an uh, on-grid inverter. But before this um, go inside to the uh, on-grid inverter, you can connect the uh, watt meter here. As you can see, uh, the watt meter is connected and then go to an MCB, then go inside to the uh, on-grid inverter. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in. Okay. As you can see now, uh, the watt meter is uh, actually showing that the PV is providing a 0.6A, 34V, okay? The watt right now is uh, 21 watts, alright? And for example, you uh, press here, switch, okay? You can see the, uh, what is the watt peak, alright? The changes and the watt hour. All right. So this is also one of the function uh, that you can use the watt meter for is to measure the power actually power output directly from the PV and before it go into an inverter or a charge controller. All right. Today is an average hot day in Malaysia. Uh, we are outdoor right now. Uh, what we have here is actually four uh, 20 watt uh, solar panel 20 watt peak solar panel have been set up uh, we have two unit uh, 20 watt peak uh, monocrystalline and uh, 20 watt peak uh, polycrystalline uh, four of this panel come from four different manufacturers uh, they consider a best brand in town uh, they claim to be uh, what we uh, want to do right now is actually uh, we are using uh, watt meter okay to measure the power output of these uh, four different uh, uh, solar panel, uh, each of them is 20 watt peak. Okay, what I did right now is actually um, using a watt meter. Okay, uh, I take the solar panel, uh, connect directly to the watt meter, and then from the watt meter, connect uh, directly to a 12 uh, VDC uh, halogen pump, uh, which is uh, 20 watt. Okay. Um, this is a very challenging project uh, uh, task is because uh, you, it's very hard to get a maximum uh, power, let's say a 20 watt panel, you want to get a maximum 20 watt, uh, you know, 
in is only happen in the you know perfect condition or in the lab uh, condition. But what I have here actually is you know a 20 watt panel. Probably you only get roughly about uh, not in the perfect condition. Maybe you only get about 15, 16 watt. But to light up a 20 watt uh, halogen bulb uh, is a bit challenging. That's why you can see the brightness of each halogen uh, bulb. Uh, 20 watt is not so bright. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but of course, um, the argument is that uh, each of these 20 watt solar panel is not actually 20 watt as well. Why? Because normally, uh, let's say it's the day a branded solar panel, a 20 watt, they will give you roughly about 22 to 23 or even some 25 watt. Why they give you extra watt peak is because um, normally they need to give you a warranty for 25 years, a uh, warranty for a uh, you know, uh, 90% power output for 10 years and warranty for 20% uh, uh, 80% uh, output uh, for 20 years. Okay, so in order to do that, uh, they will give you extra watt so that you know they can cover the warranty. All right. So in other words, uh, 20 watt solar panel will be around 22 to 23. Okay. So since we have around slightly higher, um, you know, 22 to 23 watts uh, to light up a uh, 20 watt light bulb will be i would say that will be good enough all right but let's say if i do this experiment using a 30 watt solar panel or 50 watt uh it's not really ideal for this uh you know this this condition okay let's check out the first one is a poly okay um well uh if you can see from the watt meter all right so it give up about 1.19 not bad okay 1.19 m the second one is mono okay uh, it give out a roughly about 1.13 okay and then the third one is actually is a poly uh, it give out about 1.12 as well okay um, the last one is mono again uh, it give up about 1.13 but um, this guy is very weak yeah um, the watt meter is um, you know, uh, not really uh, light up because it's barely have enough power to light up the light bulb and um, then, then the uh, watt meter. Okay, I'm probably going to check the watt peak of this guy. Alright. Um, can't check on this kind is because I think uh, not enough power. Okay, not enough power to light up the watt meter. Okay, let's, let's try on the second one. Second one, the uh, let me check the watt peak. Okay, the watt peak is six point seven. So this this uh, watt meter actually measure what is the watt peak uh, for this system. This guy is six point seven. Okay, you can see. All right. So this third guy, yeah, the watt peak uh, five point seven. Okay, not so great. I think this guy is the strongest. Oh, this guy, the watt peak is seven. All right, seven as you can see. All right, so you have it. All right, so um, it's always you know very no point when we like to argue like say you know this brand is better than that brand, that brand is better than you know this is come from Germany or this come from US, this come from China. All right. So no point arguing. The most important thing is you get yourself a watt meter and measure it, alright? And there's no point to arguing that, you know, mono is much better, the poly is much better. As you can see from this experiment, uh, the polo, uh, the, the poly, sorry, the poly is outside the mono, okay? And uh, using a watt meter, we can easily, uh, you know, measure the power output of the uh, solar panel and put it to the test and, um, you know, before you do any project. So, um, yep, get yourself a watt meter and, you know, measure it.